Okay, first thing we want to do is use portable. Read write everything and extract the ACP out of this table. They have SSDT, so always start from the left side. That's what I do. You can do whatever you want. SSDT and click bin. Make a new folder. Dell ACPI. Binary, change it to any file. So you can do dash zero dot AML. The next one, all the way from the left to right, is bin SSDT dash one dot AML. And the last one is DSDT. This is very important. Dot AML. So now we have Dell ACPI. Next thing we want to do, we plug in an 8 gigabyte USB. So I'm going to plug this one in. This is USB 3.0. I'm going to plug it in. Assuming you got a brand new one. To go to download, extract BDU with this utility and then execute it so you see it's right there so first thing I want to do is to do option go to configuration so right now the current the newest one is 3974 save after download so we put the volume label is 3974 so at least we know now the boot partition Make it 300 meg, so we can put more in case we need to. Okay. Now format it. It will be destroyed. Okay, so it's all done. Now we're going to plug it back in. Now what we want to do is to go to Clover, Driver 64 UEFI, HFS Plus, and NTFS, Control C, EFI, Clover, paste it in there. The next one we want to do EFI. Clover Kex. So we need to create 10.12. Open a new window. We have man. So I'm going to take all these fake SMC and I'm going to copy and I'm going to put in paste. You can drag it over, paste to rehab man, USB inject all, copy, paste. If you're going to use El Capitan, then you duplicate this one. Copy, paste, and I'm going to paste another one. I will rename it to 10.11, which is our Capitan. And this one will be 10.10, .10, which is Yosemite if you want to do it. So we'll be able to 
do all three. Okay, so we're going to copy this one. We are going to put in Clover and paste. So now we have that one there. Just leave it there. I do not select make new folder not use. That's okay. So now we have the cat fig. Now we're going to do a CPI. Is we're going to take the ACPI that we extracted, Control A, Control C, and then Control V into the patch folder. So now we need to add it. The most important thing is the Clover config. We name this config to original. So we're going to rename this one. Okay, so this is a config file. The only thing that we don't need, since it doesn't have NVIDIA card in there, delete this, but you can leave it there. Put minus V. This is the original one from Rehab Man, okay? Leave everything there. Even 1626006. Leave this one. This is the one that for this Broadwell i7. 5500. So remove the screen resolution. So 1920 by 1080. If you don't have that, change this one to whatever. So leave everything. The important thing is this. The patch here. Right now he disabled it. So you have to enable. So it's false. So this one. Actually you can enable all. False is equal to enable. Alright. So this is for Yosemite. The numbers are different, so don't worry about it. It won't match with yours. So this one right here, make sure it's false. So leave everything the same. Don't touch anything. Use the SM BIOS. Okay. And then put it on here. That's it. Now we're going to boot and see if it works. Now one more thing is that always boot without cache. Mm -hmm. So add in here. No cache is true. When we're done with it, then we change it to false. Make sure it always boot without cache. Okay, so we're ready.